Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Nicole and today we are going over how I wore it last week. That is what I like to call my layering combos that I have worn for the week. Um, I'm kind of behind schedule, but nonetheless, I got something good for you guys in store. So first combo I have up is the... Um, with the Tasking Caramel Cascade. And this is a sweet, warm, creamy fragrance. It has notes of um, caramel, tonka bean, some milk, honey, I believe. This is such a beautiful, creamy, sweet, not too heavy of a fragrance. However, I would not do it in the thick of this summer or in the middle of the summer but it's a gorgeous fragrance i absolutely love it right now i only had it for about a month or so and i think as it sits it's only going to get better but i paired it with the bath and body works coffee and whiskey um, body cream and also the cologne mist and then i topped it off with the sweet essentials vanilla cream um perfume oil and that perfume oil just gave it life oh my god this was such listen you already know coffee and whiskey by itself is a masterpiece and you put it all this whole combination together honey it was magic voila magic okay and in this next combo i chose uh, fineries madame madam Madame, tomatoes, tomato. <laughs> um, I, this is like a fruity, sweet, somewhat musky, and slightly woodsy fragrance. Beautiful fragrance. Beautiful. Um, they say it is a dupe for, I think, YSL's Miss Dior. I think it's Miss Dior. It has fragrance notes of Cassis, Velvet, Custard and patchouli. I'm not sure what velvet smells like, but <laughs> okay, moving on. So, but this is just a beautiful, fruity, sweet fragrance. And I chose to pair it with um, pink pop jelly, warm and cozy because it has some, um, some strawberry in it. It has some vanilla in it and also cotton candy. I wanted to kind of even Madame is kind of sweet, but it, it wasn't as sweet as I would like it to be. So I chose this because of the cotton candy and the strawberry notes, and hopefully it would sweeten it up. And I also, um, my base was the brown sugar babe sweet thing, which is a, to in my opinion, it's like a dupe for um, cotton candy champagne by Bath and Body Work. It just, it's like a, cotton candy strawberry fragrance it's just <laughs> that's what it that's what it gives me but i tied this together and baby i smell good and for hours this lasted me some hours now mind you brown sugar babes um body oil listen listen they are pricey but baby they are worth it Okay, so this gave me grown, grown right here. This was fruity and it was sweet, but it was a grown, grown fruity and sweet. This next fragrance I chose to wear is um, Victoria's Secret's Bombshell Glamour. This is a fruity, floral, a, a little sweet. Not, It's not really, it doesn't give me sweet. <laughs> it gives me a slight sweet fragrance. Um, it has notes of peach, peony, and something else that has in it. Peach, maybe some amber. I think it has some amber in it. But it's like a light, like a vibrant, ever effervescent peach fragrance. It's very pretty. It's, it's giving glamour, to be honest. The name is very fitting for this fragrance. But I chose to pair it with um, Pretty as a Peach from Bath and Body Works both the um, lotion and the fragrance mist. The 
the uh, Pretty as a Peach has fragrance notes of blush, blushing peach, jasmine petals, white nectarine, and apple blossom, and sheer freesia. And I also chose to top it off with Love Spell Candy, Peach Gumdrop, Crystallized Nougat, or Nougat. And honey, I, it was, it was a perfect peach. I wanted it to be light and vibrant, but not too sweet. Um, perfect as a peach gave it exactly what it needed to have gave. And it was just a beautiful, fruity, floral balance. This next combo, I chose Bond Number no. 9 Scent of Peace. This is actually a masculine fragrance, so they say I believe it's unisex, honey, because this, <laughs> this right here, this is a bold, citrusy, fresh, sweet with a slight tropical essence fragrance. It has fragrance notes of pineapple, juniper berries, bergamot, and some cedar wood for a cedar. Girl, I paired this with Tropodelic from Bath and Body Works that has fragrance notes of irresistible passion flower, ylang, ylang and misty rainforest. And then I topped it off with Sweet Essentials Banana Pineapple Cream. Girl, girl, I felt like kaboom. Guess who stepped in the room? Honey, <laughs> you couldn't tell me nothing when I had this on. You hear me? I felt like I was all of that. And when I tell you, heads was turning. I took my daughter on a college tour. And everybody kept asking me, what are you wearing? Oh, my God. Like, I'm telling you, this right here, I almost wasn't going to share this with you all. But, honey, I said my family got to know about this. <laughs> we family. We share these things. But this right here, do not sleep on bond number nine, the scent of peace. Just because some fragrances say it's straight masculine doesn't mean it's always straight masculine and i do understand that a lot of people don't care to wear fragrances that lean more masculine however you can change it up and you know come up with a creative combo that will be unique to your body chemistry and that's exactly what this gave me right here this next combo right here was whew, <laughs> I chose to wear this Bond number no. 9 Park Avenue South. <laughs> Baby, this was a banger right here. Don't let the fruitiness fool you, honey. You see that whiskey came over there? You see that whiskey over there? I had to bring it in so we could kind of tone down some of that sweetness. And honey, it came in and acted a plum fool, okay? When I tell you... I was smelling amazing. Oh, but but bond number nine, Park Avenue South is a fruity, floral, elegant fragrance. It has fragrance notes of um, I know it has some green apple, some jasmine, um, some musk, and I believe it has it has some other fruit. I think it's either peach or apricot it has in here. But honey, baby, when I tell you. I paired it with this Bath and Body Works apple that has fragrance notes of apple, strawberry, rain. And I the base was this sweet whiskey that has some, it doesn't have the fragrance notes on the back, but I know it has some, um, of course, some whiskey, some red berries, and I believe some sort of um, sandalwood. I think it is or amber but child this came through and after a plum fool I was smelling amazing and absolute amazing okay this next combo I chose to wear uh, we have soft this is like um, citrusy vanilla um, slightly musky but bright fragrance it has notes of um, citruses. A lot of people think it just has lemons because it is lemon 
dominant, but it has other citruses in it. Um, it has some caramel, some vanilla, definitely some musk. But honey, this combo gave me life. When I tell you it gave me life, girl, everything just played off of everything so well. Um, the Caramel Glacé by the Dawkins of Rome. This is a dupe for um, Zerzhoff Lira. That has the lemon. That has the caramel. That has um, some musk, some amber. And then my base was the Iced Lemon Pound Cake from Bath & Body Works. Um, this has fragrance notes of sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy pound cake. And I also chose to go in with the pink body mist. It has fluffy vanilla, golden caramel, and coconut cloud. Girl. Girl, all oh, this, this right here. This right here. Mm. This was a time, baby. This was a time. Trust me when I tell you. It was the perfect combo for this somewhat springtime weather over here it's, it's kind of warm but it's still kind of nippy you know what i'm saying <laughs> but this gave me life this was gorgeous this next combo was inspired by one of our family members love jones thank you so much love for this combo honey baby girl this combo right here <gasps> So I went in with the um, Andromeda's Moon, um, inspired by Cassili, which is inspired by uh, Parfums de Marley. This is a pretty sweet floral with some juiciness to it. Um, it has fragrance notes of red currant, plum, frangipani, tonka bean, vanilla. Girl. When I tell you this combo was so pretty, ooh, this combo was so pretty. I paired it with the Bath & Body Works Plumeria, which has fragrance notes of pink plumeria, peach nectar, red apple, night blooming jasmine, and gardenia petal. Baby, lights out. You understand? I felt so pretty with this combo. I felt so pretty that <laughs> I did not want to be touched. I felt too cute, honey. I was, excuse me. Did you wash your hands? Oh, okay. <laughs> Girl, I felt pretty. This was just so, I can't explain it no other way. It was just so pretty. Thank you so much, love. This was amazing. This next combo, I just pretty much wanted to wear a pair. This day I wanted to you know, they have a little freshness. It was a warm spring-like day. This day was actually pretty warm, so I didn't want to have on anything too heavy. I wanted, you know, just to do something light. I was feeling lighthearted. So I chose to use the Canvas Beauty Body Glaze, the Marshmallow Toast, because let's just be honest. This is just, the formulation is awesome. It's amazing. But the, the Marshmallow Toast fragrance, non-existent sorry um but hands down she got the formulation down packed i love it i love how it glides on my skin i love how soft it makes my skin feel i love the um moisturization body glaze got it <laughs> they got it um but gingham fresh is a fruity floral um sweet fragrance it has notes of pear, daisy, and clementine. And I chose to wear the Victoria's Secret Pear Glacé, sugared pear, dewy lemon. Did I say lemon? Mm. Dewy melon. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> you know the drill. Um, <laughs> but this was just a beautiful, fresh pear fragrance. This next fragrance is um, Jessica Simpson's Fancy. This is a sweet caramel floral. Um, on the initial spray, it's like a fresh floral, but on the dry down, it's uh, vanillic, it's sweet. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's very fancy. Um, I chose to pair this with Bath & Body Works Forever Sunshine. 
It has fragrance notes of golden apricot, pink peonies, vanilla musk with a hint of praline. Um, my base was EOS Vanilla and Cashmere Body Cream, and I mixed that with Brown Sugar Babes Cloud 9, which, girl, Cloud 9, when I initially got it, it was smelling like very, very light. But, honey, this thing been sitting, and I absolutely love it. It has some vanilla, some tonka, some cashmere, and oh my God, it is amazing. And this combo together, it was given, she's fancy, huh? She's fancy, huh? Hair did, nails did, everything did. So this last combo, guys, I chose the Vibrant Orange and Neroli, which is a dupe for Byredo's, um Sundays. Girl, girl, I chose... To pair this with Fairy Tale by Bath and Body Works. Wait, let me give y'all some background on this vibrant orange in the rolling. This is a citrusy, um, sweet, slight musky, white floral, heavy on the sweet. It has some fragrance notes of orange, neroli, lemon, cotton candy. Um, I think it has some musk in it, but honey, like I said, it's a slight muskiness. And Fairy Tale has fragrance notes of pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, and warm amber. My base was wrapped in vanilla, girl, soft vanilla, velvet sugar, chantilly cream. Girl, I went to the doctors with this one. Why? All the assistants kept saying, you smell like candy. You smell so good. Oh my God. When I tell you, the orange in this vibrant orange in the rolly plays so well with the orange blossom and fairy tale and that nectarine girl and stop playing that wrapped in vanilla oh my god this was amazing amazing when i tell you i smell so good i just kept wanting to wear it over and over this is gonna be my scent for the summer because honey i'm gonna be wearing this all summer long i smelled amazing and that is it friends that is it for my um how i wore it last week let me know what your favorite combo was last week thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up i appreciate you all so much so the next time friends understanding you respected every boundary so exciting, wasn't expecting